coffee. Okay, so this is the second part of my uh, mini course here, following on from yesterday. So this is going to be, you're going to do the work, I'm not going to do anything, I'm just going to crack the up. And what we're going to do here is, hopefully, if you have been able to install the tool, uh, and I know some of you have, and some of you have not, we're going to follow on from yesterday's uh, talk by Paul, where in the, yesterday in the session we were sort of reflecting on some of the trustworthiness aspects of various cyber-physical systems. So we split into three groups and we were sort of identifying various hazards and sort of risk mitigations and so on. So today what I would like you to do to sort of continue that, and if you would like you can actually arrange yourself into groups and certainly I think you should get into at least pair up with somebody who's got the tool installed. And what I would like you to do, and I'm going to talk through this, is sort of make many safety cases for those examples that we did yesterday. And I'll explain to you what, what you know, components that's going to be. But it's essentially going to be the things that I sort of covered yesterday in my talk, and I gave you examples of for the, for the UAS example. Okay, so just to remind you of that, essentially the sort of key components of safety cases that I would like you to be creating today are the hazards and also the associated safety requirements. The risk scenarios, uh, using these bow tie diagrams that together are composed to form a safety architecture, and then the arguments providing rationale for various aspects of that. And we'll, we'll sort of leave it up to you to decide what you want to create arguments for. And what we're going to do is use this tool called Advocate that um, uh, Martin sent you the link for yesterday um, and, and various platforms. Uh, and that's basically going to let us sort of create these things. Okay, so this is what I just mentioned here. We're going to think about these uh, examples from yesterday. So first of all, let me ask who, who was able to install the tool? I, oh, good, good. So that's enough people. So perhaps you could take a few minutes and decide what groups you want to get into. I mean, if you want to arrange yourselves according to the same groups as yesterday, that'd be fine. It's entirely up to you. You can be individually or however, but I think it'd be good for at least, for everybody to at least be with somebody who's got the, the tool installed. So let's take a few minutes and sort of... And people could also use other... Uh, well, I, what I was going to do, I mean, I would like to be sort of talking through this. So it's not that I'm going to send them off and okay. come back in like 45 minutes, but I'll sort of talk through each. There's, a, you know, more or less for four parts to this, you know, roughly corresponding to the things I talked about. Uh, yeah, I mean, you're, you're the boss, Martin. And then the others have to find an if you, if you, if you feel anti-social, you can be on your own. I don't mind. I was originally thinking individually, but uh, yeah, you can group together. I don't mind. It's a Java error because you're pointing to the wrong Java version. Yes, I don't know. And Max. I was told to use this SDK man tool by, by a Mac guy. You just, I, I looked at Jenny's log and she's installed Java 8, but it's not pointing to the right Java version. That's the problem. You need to figure out how to get your environment available to point to. I don't know, apparently on Windows it's much easier. I don't, I, I'm afraid I don't know. But mail me your errors. We'll have them resolved within a day, but not right now. I, I have to ask an expert on that. Okay, so you can maybe tell Federico what to do. I don't see much. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So nobody wants to self-assemble? You're all going to work on your own? That's, that's, well, I'll give you a few more minutes anyway. Three. You got it working? Or, or yeah. Maybe three. Um, just 
So three of us. Yeah, we can also do We can three. do one group. Of course we can. Okay. okay. I'm going to give you a very high score on your course evaluation. See, we rank you as well. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Uber, you know, the, the driver also ranks a customer. <laughs> so you, you get a good score. <laughs> So in the link to the Dropbox that Martin sent, there's also a user guide, which is a work in progress. You're actually the first people outside of official organizations to have the tool, by the way. Uh, so there's a user guide that has quite a bit more detail than I'm going to go into today, but it doesn't cover all the functionality yet. You will get updates after you leave. Uh, there's also an example project that you should download, and I'll tell you how to import that. This is sort of a mini example that I created before I came here. Um, yeah, those are the main things. So if you could download all of that, please. OK, so for those of you who have the tool, let's just do this first of all. So what we're going to do is we're going to import that example project. This is just to show you what the thing looks like. We're actually going to develop our own project. So go to import, existing project into workspace. Browse for whatever you put that thing. I put mine on the desktop. It's called CPS example. And I always click to copy the project so I don't mess up the original, but you, you, can, you, can, you don't have to click that. And then finish. And then what it should do is you should import it in here. And you'll see the example. OK. So let's see if you can do that. So as I mentioned, so you know, a safety case consists of multiple components, and we have this sort of dashboard interface here. We can navigate between the various components of the, of the of the safety case. So there's the arguments, the requirements, patterns. I think I'm not going to cover today. The hazards, the safety architecture, and and some other sort of analytic type stuff that I'm also not going to cover today. Okay. So for example, I could go in, so I can use these tabs to navigate between the various components of the safety case. And hopefully you can figure it out yourself by clicking on various things, you can sort of navigate between various bits and pieces of the safety case. So for example, here's one of the arguments that we created. Okay, and then I can go back to the dashboard and I could perhaps open the hazard log. So I could go here, open the hazard log, and then I can see here I just created two hazards. So I'm not gonna talk through this example, you can sort of explore this afterwards at your leisure. What I wanted to do now is to, for us to create one ourselves. Okay, so go over here. You can, you can do this either here or here. And go new advocate project. And then you have to accept this disclaimer, which the NASA lawyers insisted we add, much to my annoyance, which basically says, I am an idiot and I promise not to use this for anything safety critical, which is a bit embarrassing. But it basically says garbage in, garbage out. And then the lawyers told me that they're terrified that somebody will use this tool, create a, an idiotic safety case, and then, you know, flap, <laughs> flap their arms and jump off a cliff or something and say, but NASA said it was safe. So anyway, you got to do that. So create a new project. We'll call it whatever we want. I don't know, CPS example. Oops, I already, I already called it that, CPS2. Whatever. Okay. And now, as I said, I suggest that you go with the examples that you were covering yesterday in, in, in our groups. So actually, you should probably have called it something corresponding to that. So, so pick, a, pick a sensible name and then, you know, pick a sensible description. So I don't know, like, uh, what was the one that I, the group I was in was the mobile, you know, hospital trolley or whatever it was. Okay. Okay, just, just, just get that set up. Okay, anybody get any <laughs> problems so far? Okay. All right. Maybe I'll delete this example, get it out of the way. Oh, actually, I'm not going to do that. Okay. So the first thing we, we're going to do now is to create a very simple abstraction of the system. And 
at least within NASA, when we sort of do safety analysis, we work with a, an abstraction of the system in terms of both its physical and its logical structure. And so we call this the physical and the, and the logical breakdown of the system. So, so first of all, we'll create sort of the physical one. So go here and create a new physical decomposition. So let's, I don't know, call it uh, hospital bed, bed, trolley physical breakdown, or whatever you want, what you want to call it. Oh, actually, don't give any hyphens in it. It doesn't like that. Okay, so you see here an example where we have sort of a hierarchical listing of all the components of the system. So think now about the examples you're working on yesterday and sort of identify the various components of the system and sort of arrange them hierarchically. Uh, hopefully it's kind of, kind of clear. You can use content assist to sort of get an idea of the syntax here. Uh, so first of all, sort of lay out this sort of physical breakdown of the system. So here in this example here, this sort of built-in example here is a UAV. So the UAV, UAV consists of control surfaces, elevators, ailerons, propulsion sensors, and so on. So we arrange these, these, these components of the system and we just give this sort of hierarchical structure. So, so try and sort of identify the, the components and, and arrange them hierarchically for, for the example that you're working on. So, so do this first, if you could. What was that? Uh, which file was that that you created? Okay, so go here, go, go over here, and go right click, new, physical decomposition. And don't, okay. don't put a hyphen in the name like I did. Okay. Otherwise it'll complain. Oh yeah, don't put a hyphen in the name though. I'll wander around and see what people are doing. Oh, you're, yeah, this is the logical. So also, that's the next thing, the logical breakdown. Okay, very good. So, you know, modify this according to your example. Okay? This is just a sort of example of, you know, the, the, the functions of the system. So we're having some challenges here. Oh, is it a Mac? Yeah, no, no, it's uh, Windows. I tried to download it. It wasn't like you download? it was almost done. Yeah? Well, it's sort of bugged, I don't know. Is so, it on network? Oh, so, well, that's a Dropbox error. <laughs> So it won't even let you download? Sorry? It, it won't even let you download? It doesn't show here. Okay. I mean, this is... I click on download. Let's see. 